So here's kind of a rough draft of what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm gonna have my telescope tripod. We're gonna have one leg here, or roughly here, here, that, and here. So I'm gonna have two two by fours doubled up, going this way, and then just like a T, I'm gonna have two two by fours going that way, and then I might just have this outer. I know I'm gonna do one, but I might do that inner one as well, just for maximum stability. Now on here, I envisioned using like a um, like a rod to go through, like an axle. But I actually just, I'm just gonna use these swivels. Well, this doesn't swivel, it's a caster. These are big eight inch casters. And then I have one swivel uh, caster that's gonna go on the front. So my wheel is actually gonna be under this and not on the side. So we're gonna have the two stationary wheels back here and then one uh, swivel caster in the front. All right, so the purpose of this video is to kind of you know, just share what I've done and maybe I almost hate to say teach it to someone because I'm I'm no expert, but I just want to kind of share with you guys what I did um, to achieve what I achieved. So, guys, I, the making of this video, it's like uh, June 29th and 20, uh, June 29th and 30th. Man, it was just hot out here. But I was, uh, as you can see, I got the fan set up. So, man, I was I was struggling through. So, as you can see, I, I doubled up those 2x4s, kind of created a T out of it. And I'm using these big L brackets. Uh, I've actually had these left over from another project I was doing. I didn't end up using them. So, I'm just now making sure I'm marking this out where the legs will actually be setting. So you know they're completely evenly apart so when i get it all done it's actually sitting on top and the with the weight evenly distributed so i had to take these wheels off so i could drill through the center and actually so i could place a a bolt a carriage bolt through there so i could get, go right into the wood because uh the regular holes that was for these brackets one was actually hanging over the two by fours and I didn't want to put extra wood on there just for that so the three holes total I, I think is going to be good enough uh, we're not building a space shuttle here you know guys it's uh just going to be holding a telescope and I do think three good sized lag bolts is going to be just fine so so in here I did have to add some extra wood um so I could get all four. So it could take my weight, guys. I'm shoot, I'm about 220 right now. So yeah, it, it's it did just fine. So now I'm working on the pieces. I had gotten out my little angle measurement tool or whatever, where you can transfer the angles and man, I just I couldn't get it to do what I needed it to do. So I just kind of held it up against the wood and just marked a little, you know, the angle from the angle that I wanted. And I was able to go cut it on my uh, bevel, compound bevel saw, and it was just fine. So this is what I got so far. And this is not connected, but I'm thinking this is what I'm gonna do. So this is 24 inches. I think I'm going to attach this here. I still can have full rotation here. But the stabilizing uh, legs or feet, whatever you want to call them, that's going to drive out and have contact with the ground to stabilize this. I'm going to have one here, here, and then in that far corner outside of that wheel, and then one here as well. So I've added these large L brackets. Let me see, we got three. Um, these are two and a half inch screws. Got three screws on each side for a total of six. Two brackets, got 12 screws on each side. I have this member, uh, cross member here at uh, it's 45 degrees. And then I'm not even sure which angle this is. It's just, I kind of measured it and, and just put it in there. So these are in. I was surprised this, this bracket part is so big. It actually was too big for these two by four. So I actually drilled another hole. So I have two in the back, one in here. I expect this to be just fine. Uh, 
this telescope is somewhat heavy. It's heavy to carry around, but it's not like it's 600 pounds and exceeding, you know, what these would be. This is fine. So I got three screws. These are five sixteenths, I think it's an inch and a half. So I got three in those, I got four in there. So I'm pretty confident that these aren't going anywhere. Those are gonna be good to go. So I wanted to use my router with a flush uh, trim bit to cut this part away and I can't find it. So instead of just messing it all up, trying to use a circular saw, I think I'm just gonna get me another bit tomorrow and then uh, I'm gonna cut that away. All right, so guys, so my original plan was to get some all thread and create my own kind of rods and you know mechanism that could level this out. Um, the and I was going to use a T nut to go into the wood, but the largest T nuts I could find was three eighths of an inch, and that three eighths uh, all thread just did not look thick enough to really make this stable as you may know with like tripod legs people always want to go after the thicker ones like this is a, a pretty large diameter so i would take all of this and then we'll be balancing on new legs that are essentially less than this here and i figured that was just not going to work so what i actually decided to do was to get two of these trailer jack stands so you can see these are 2,000 pound capacity but uh, we won't be going nowhere near that. But I did also have to get the feet, which was sold separately. Got this at Harbor Freight. These was $29 a piece. I mean, they wasn't super expensive, but this whole project is getting more expensive than I uh, initially expected. But it's just how it goes sometimes. And when you get in too deep, you go too deep. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put two of these on the front and hope to balance out the rear. So the rear is actually gonna be sitting on these wheels and I'm hoping this is gonna be good enough. Um, so we're gonna have to see. Um, so, and I, I figure that's a, a larger, you know, footprint, the wheel itself. And I mean, and these are beefy. So I'm gonna have the wheels on the back and I hope to balance it out with the two jack stands in the front. So hopefully that should get it or trailer jacks. I'm gonna be bouncing out in the front. If that doesn't get it, I might have to add two more in the back which will really explode the price of this project. So I'm hoping I won't have to do that. And I really don't think I have to. Uh, there are people who made videos about once you're polar aligned and you're using plate solving and all that, being exactly level is not it doesn't matter so i think i can get level enough with this uh method so here we go these uh trailer jacks i probably could have used my whole saw and fit the trailer jack through just one um piece of two by four but i really wouldn't have had nowhere to uh, bolt the uh, flange and if I only use the one, so I put the two two by fours side by side, and then I'm gonna use the whole saw on both of them. And that, that worked pretty good. And then that way I had room for the flange and any weight, it's gonna actually be shared over the two. Now, like I said, I don't, think this telescope weighs that much i'm really trying to do all of this for stability and the trailer jacks actually cause 
they solve one issue and actually cause another one. I'll talk about it later in the video, but I have a couple of ideas on how I'm going to take care of that. So I don't think it's going to really um, stop my my goal here. So I think we're still moving in the right direction. These feet that I have, um, they have a little bit of articulation in there. And that's probably good when you're trying to balance out a boat or a trailer or something. And it's it just needs to move just a little bit to kind of gain some kind of a footing on the ground. But in this case, that little bit of articulation is just another place where things can wobble around and we don't want wobbly so i think i'm gonna probably have to weld these feet on or maybe just come up with a different solution for feet maybe uh some rubber you know something i can just slide over the bottom of the post there that, that actually might be a pretty good idea So I'm drilling the three holes for the the tripod legs. They're gonna just sit in here. Now the these was kind of designed to the tripod can kind of spread out, but not any further than what these legs are gonna allow it. Now it's it's pretty much already at its natural full spread, but I don't want it to be able to have any flexibility to spread any further. So hopefully uh these feet and the anchor that i'm going to install is going to hold everything nice and stationary now i'm trying to put in this so i put like a d a d hook i screwed that into the bottom of that of the base of the dolly and i had to cut off a part of the ratchet strap and just use a carabiner but now I've got it ratcheted down so the telescope is nice and solid. Well, here it is. Uh, this is still a little bit in development, but for the most part, I can use it. So I just cut a piece of this uh, strap off that I use for this ratchet strap right here. And uh, right now I just have it anchored to the front and it pulls along pretty good. Just like that. I don't think I'm gonna have any real problems pulling this around my yard. Now, I do think in the future I want to do something with a with a handle, you know, almost like a wagon style that allow me to articulate kind of side to side and pull, but it'll also allow you to kind of push back a little bit. I can't push back with this. Um, thing I want to show so the little bar here it turns out it is metric um, M12 so I just got an M12 coupler and then uh, I actually couldn't find this in metric but I shoved a half inch in there it's not coming out but you know that's kind of the point so I kind of just made it work so then I got a ratchet strap this part was too long so I just used a uh, the carabiner and then I have this anchored right into the uh, that cross member that's going what's well, going across this way and then um, I put this this is a 45 pound concrete weight and uh, I kind of I made this during a pandemic when everybody was working out at home and a 45 pound plate was like almost 200 bucks so I made this out of concrete I got a couple of them but since the uh, weights the prices have come down I bought some proper ones and now these are just kind of hanging around so this 45 pounds, it helps add weight to the whole thing. And I'm hoping it'll be less likely to, you know, jostle in the wind. Now, this being connected to this uh, is very strong, but I can see a problem. And uh, I can kind of show you right now. Let me just pause it so I can. Um,
right, so there's one foot down. what I found as you can see there's there's a lot of play so I'm gonna have to somehow address that because that's not gonna work look at that so any little wind is just gonna push this all around and that's not gonna work so I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of a solution and maybe something I can stick in there so it doesn't have all that play. So I have solved the problem of basically getting this to my backyard easily, but now I've created a problem with stabilization. So even after all this money being spent, this is not a stable solution. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make these stable. And I don't wanna have to put an anchor in the ground and then ratchet it to that anchor because that's it's just a lot more work. And I'd rather just be able to bring it out and set it up and go back in the house. I've got a computer, a little uh, mini computer, uh, 12 volt, that I can remote into from inside the house. So I've got plenty of power in here. I have another video. Um, I think I have like 512 watt hours or something in there. Uh, plenty, plenty of uh, power to run uh, actually several nights of imaging. So, um, so the goal was to be able to see that maybe it's a good night for imaging, take this outside have leave everything connected just take the whole unit outside get it somewhat level and just walk right back in the house and you know obviously i have to polar align but uh get it polar aligned and um you know i think probably i should be able to just take this out in about five minutes be back inside the house and um on the computer connecting all the different modules so yeah guys so um i think i'm gonna launch a new channel to start uploading this this kind of stuff i have a regular channel but this is pretty pretty niche so i'm not gonna put this on my regular channel maybe i will but i'm definitely gonna start a new channel and start uploading telescope um type of content we we'll call it nwt this is uh nerds with telescopes and uh, yeah, guys, so you want to see some more, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see about getting this thing stable. Figure out some kind of solution, guys. You got any ideas, hit me up. I'm all ears.